Nagpal and he has completed his M.Tech in Advanced Construction Technology from Puducherry Technological University in the year 2005. And Sir has completed his B.Tech in Civil Engineering from Puducherry Technological University or Puducherry in the year 2003. Sir has around uh, totally 11 years of professional experience and uh, during his course of time he has worked as a scientist grade C in Ocean Engineering Division CSIR, National Institute of Tech, uh, Oceanography, Goa, and uh, also he, he worked as a senior project officer, IIT Madras, Chennai, and uh, Sarah has published in many uh, reputed journals, around uh, 31 journals, which is Web of Science and as well as Scopus Index, and Sarah has published 21 book chapters, uh, which is also Scopus Index, and uh, during his uh, academic experience, he has received many awards like Best Paper Award, Golden Paper Award uh, in many conferences. And he is also a re reviewer in Indian Concrete Journal, Structural Engineering and Mechanics, an international journal, and uh, SN Applied to Sciences, Springer International and Marine Geodesy, and SERC Journal of Structural Engineering, Frontiers in Sustainability, and Indian Journal of Science and Technology. So, without further delay, I would like to uh, I, I request our speaker, Dr. Rajasekharan, sir, to commence the session. Over to you, sir. Uh, uh, thank you for being here. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Vijay Vignesh. Uh, uh, thank you for the introduction and good afternoon to you all. Uh, uh, welcome to this uh, seminar session on the uh, role of uh, digital innovations in built environment. Um, I will go to my PPT. Uh, shall I switch off my video? Uh, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because it's showing us internet is unstable. Okay, sir. It's no problem. Okay. Yes. Just let me know if you have faced any problem in between. You can disturb oh, me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I will share the PPT. Is it visible? Yes, sir. It's yeah. uh, once again, good afternoon to you all. Uh, to this uh, lecture, uh, role of digital innovations in built environment. Myself, Raj Shekharan. Uh, already they gave an introduction. Thank you for the introduction. And uh, uh, the session is around 45 to 50 minutes. So later we can have a questionnaire session or a doubt clearing session of the presentation. So when uh, the professor asked me uh, to do a PPT, to do a presentation, then I was thinking what to do. Then uh, it, it came into mind, then why not we can uh, give attempt on uh, explaining uh, the digital innovations in uh, built environment and uh, their aspects regarding to the sustainability. Is it changing? Yes, sir, changing. Sir. Fine. So thank you. Uh, first of all, we'll see what is my built environment. Uh, built environment is nothing but it refers to the human-made environment uh, that provides the setting for the human activity, which includes uh, houses, buildings, streets, walkways, uh, open space, transportation space, and more. Generally, uh, it is defined as the human-made space in which people live, work, and recreate on a day-to-day -day basis. So it's it's normally made up of all the physical features and the built environment in wider than the construction we, we always uh, uh, refer to our civil engineering field but it, it is a wider term than the construction and it relates not only to the physical assets but also the industries across the life cycle from front and end over the uh, handing operation handover operation after the construction also so generally, it includes uh, design, construction, management, and use of all forms of buildings. Uh, so uh, first, we need to understand what is my built environment. Then only we, we come to know why it is uh, so important uh, uh, in our civil engineering. Then uh, there are three aspects are there in this topic. One is uh, understanding what is my built environment. Then uh, what is meant by digital innovations. Then what is meant by sustainability because the main intention of bringing these innovations, digital innovations in the built environment is to make everything sustainable. So for that, we need to know what is the meaning of the sustainability. 
so sustainability is nothing but meeting to the present day needs by using uh, resources partially uh, th such that a future generation can use the resources to meet the needs right the uh, photograph uh, the visual on the right side of the screen uh, very well depicts the meaning of sustainability so we have to give back to our future generation uh, the world in a proper way which represents passing the earth uh, as a legacy to the future generation in a healthy condition that is very important so uh, it promptly apply applicable for our uh, civil engineering field next uh, sustainability having a uh, different phases or different dimensions so sustainability not only defined in terms of healthy use of resources but also to be perfect of amalgamation of three main aspects one is environment next is social economic third one is social so the sustainability is not about the renewable energy and the energy efficiency and also realizing the true sustainability requires understanding the connection between this environment society and economy so we must strive to achieve the sustainability that permeates all aspects of our day to day lives in global national and international domains so always we used to say sustainability is related to five p's it starts from planet next people then prosperity then peace finally partnership so all are interconnected if we if, if we think over uh, all these five p's then we can easily achieve the sustainability in our field so uh, if you take the dimensions of sustainability especially with respect to the construction industry our most basic requirements are unpolluted air clean water and fresh food all come from our environment and the materials which required for making the structures also come from our environment so it does the energy and the raw materials whatever we need for the construction and transportation so environmental uh, sustainability is essential if we wish to have and continue to have the resources to meet our needs in in a broader sense the environmental sustainability involves the entire global ecosystem global ecosystem in the sense uh, oceans uh, fresh water systems land atmosphere everything will come as single term called global uh, ecosystems and uh, uh, this environmental sustainability can be equally applied to all the ecosystems of any size even down to the scale of small, small home garden also so it is not in a big big uh, picture it also even for a small structure also we can apply this environmental sustainability uh, uh, for example planting the trees along the side of the road post completion of the construction of the road project this is one of the simple example for making the environmental more sustainable because we already polluted the environment with by using a lot of material by creating a lot of dust uh, uh, by, that can be reduced by planting uh, these type of trees and avoiding pumping out the underground water in time, giving time to the uh, ground water table. So during construction, after construction, and uh, 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 after the usage, handing over the building, we start using pumping the water from the ground. And we have to give ample of time uh, for the water to uh, recharge itself. And that can be attained uh, by uh, having some metered thing which certainly uh, <clears throat> audit the usage of the water and this environmental sustainability can be achieved uh, by various parameters we, we can measure with the help of various parameters they are mm, that is indicators of uh, environmental dimensions that is uh, climate change uh, which refers to the change in global temperature uh, which caused by this uh, greenhouse effect by reducing the greenhouse gases, mainly the carbon dioxide. Uh, for example, the uh, manufacturing of cement, which involves a lot of uh, production of carbon dioxide to the environment. And uh, 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 mainly it is not only for cement, but many construction materials uh, for uh, transporting, extracting, manufacturing, uh, installing, maintaining, and disposing, everything will release a lot of uh, these greenhouse gases, which will certainly have the impact on the climate. The next parameter is the ocean the layer depletion. Certainly, this uh, greenhouse gases will have an effect on this uh, uh, stratospheric uh, uh, ozone layer, and uh, by by releasing the molecules, radical molecules, which certainly break down this ozone layer. Then, uh, human uh, toxicity, that is, the emission of some substance, can have impacts on human health also. 
and uh, ecotoxicity that is it refers to the potential of biological chemical and uh, physical stresses to affect the ecosystem so not only human other people who is living around uh, other uh, living beings which is living around will be affected by this uh, ecotoxicity then acidification certainly the ga acidic gases uh, such as sulfur dioxide nitrogen dioxide nitrogen oxides uh, which given off uh, from the fuel combustion uh, react with the water in the soil and in the atmosphere where the, there is a, a high possibility of formation of acid rain uh, uh, contamination of the soil structure and the top layer which will certainly reduce the uh, the uh, total uh, life cycle of the soil present in the uh, environment then uh, fossil fuel depletion so nowadays uh, uh, they are uh, very finite uh, resources and very it, it depleted a lot and we are uh, going for an alternate uh, to make uh, uh, the use of alternate material in, in 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 case of fossil fuel in order to take care of the needs of this uh, uh, fossil fuel then solid waste generation uh, generally uh, this represents the issues associated with the loss of the resources uh, implied by the final disposal of waste just think of uh, the end of the construction site uh, lost of waste will be generated uh, that can be channelized by using uh, various techniques that can be reduced by using various tactics uh, where uh, we are going to see the upcoming slides then water extra extraction then freight transport and photochemical oxidation these are the indicators for the uh, environmental dimension then this uh, social sustainability social uh, sustainability uh, or uh, uh, societal sustainability uh, in is uh, in which all the members are have equal rights all share are equal equally in, in social benefit and uh, whoever pass to participate in the world have equal rights in making the decision process so uh, there are uh, four dimensions are there for the social sustainability one is the quality of life where uh, people has to get the affordable housing physical mental uh, medical support education training and opportunities employment opportunities access to support and of course safety and security so uh, 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 people may ask why the social sustainability is very much important for a construction industry so we are the starting point of everything if we regulate the things then automatically everything will go online so next is equality and diversity third one is uh, social cohesion and fourth one is democracy governance so governance is make sure about the budget and resources which are adequate to sustain the sustainability programs and the ability to measure it uh, what is there and what is not there whether it is used properly or not that can be uh, seen here also we have some uh, indicators that is for social dimension one is the uh, cultural heritage prevention aesthetic quality next choice and security of tenure housing for all empowerment and participation adaptability accessibility and thermal comfort so in the left side i have made some uh, colors with the indicators some markers uh, that will be uh, helpful in uh, uh, or that will be indicated in the uh, in the measures which are taken to achieve these indicators next is economic sustainability <coughs> so so economic sustainability uh, uh, we we, are, we will be looking for in the long term without uh, compromising the environmental and cultural elements for example air to water innovation it is zero mass water system technology that can extract water from air uh, if you take in a, a in a dry high, high altitude weather there you don't have water to take so there what they are doing is they are generating the water from the air especially in the morning times there will be moisture will be there so using some new technologies they will be extracting the water from the air itself next is growth of recycling helping in reducing in carbon footprint by introducing a, a new alternate material for example instead of concrete we are going for a new uh, alternate uh, material binding materials like uh, uh, geopolymer concrete other things have come for in order to achieve the social economic sustainability then micro farming Uh, forming in small residential piece of land which certainly improves the economic activity uh, of the people and uh, these also uh, having indicators economic dimensions that is initial cost maintenance cost operational cost job creation long term savings and tourism <coughs> so
So uh, construction industry, uh, you know, it's uh, one of the largest industry worldwide that have uh, different uh, aspects of challenges and issues in order to maintain a significant growth. So recent uh, COVID is uh, certainly bashed the field of constru uh, construction industry and a lot of economic losses happened because of the uh, pandemic. With, uh, with this increase in demand in the field of construction, uh, uh, it, there, there comes challenges in the area of performance, uh, profit, uh, productivity, and labor. Uh, totally, the industrial growth is certainly, we need to face a lot of challenges. So the construction industry has been living through an exciting phase of its life because we are uh, in a new era. It's a, it's a new normal for the construction industry where they have to implement uh, uh, not with the implement new technologies and have to show non-stop growing and uh, they have to face many other challenges at the same time so uh, uh, these challenges these challenges uh, uh, is added added to the uh, sustainable uh, built in order to create a sustainable built economy so generally uh, uh, some of the challenges general challenges usually uh, we check uh, usually we see in the uh, sustainable <coughs> built environment are lagging productivity, slow innovation, then uh, low profits and high risk despite the strong growth, uh, irregular time and budget war and lack of communication. So any issues or problem faced in this construction industry is due to some error or mistakes. It's mainly due to the breakdown of the communication between the concerned parties of the project. Because a lot of players are involved in a construction project. It is not a single man show. So, uh, and moreover, it is uh, very diverse. The overall construction uh, uh, construction site is of uh, diverse. So day one will be uh, with the footing of with the with the excavatory persons. Day two will be with the reinforcement persons. Day three will be the concreting persons. So people will keep on changing in the same site. And moreover, uh, the environment will be keep on changing. Type of material going to use will be keep on changing. So uh, day to day, the uh, since it is changing in a diverse way, we have a lot of challenges in order to create a sustainable environment, especially insufficient knowledge of transfer from project to project then weak project monitoring, huge amounts of waste depleting the environment, uh, social economic conflict, that is uh, co uh, especially uh, cooperating with the societies and uh, collaborating with the suppliers and lack of alternatives to the non-renewable non resources. So even though uh, the researches are going on, still we get to find out a final solution for uh, alternatives for a lot of materials and uh, we have created a lot of abundant concrete jungle with a very little green environment next uh, we will see uh, what is meant by uh, uh, digitalization digitization and digital transformation so uh, this uh, slide explains completely itself the fundamental differences between the uh, digitization and digital transformation and uh, digitization so digitization is nothing but converting the data from analog format to digital format, such that the computers can understand or store the data. For example, in a petrol pump, before the person starts the pump, he manually enters the amount or uh, quantity of the petrol, uh, which is required by the customer. Uh, if you take uh, the definition of uh, digitalization, it is a process of automation or improving the process by making use the use of digitized data for example after the amount is entered the pump automatically starts and shutdowns automatically uh, by after the delivering of the amount of petrol into the petrol pump this is the simple example for a digitization and digitalization so here next thing is the digital transformation digital transformation is nothing but uh, developing a business model or a model or a system uh, which completely operates on digitalization on as the basis for example uh if you take the petrol pump examples uh, development of a petrol pump where customer itself gives the requirement of the petrol to the machine pays the amount either by cash or card or smart card or by any other uh, qr code and get the vehicle, uh, vehicle uh, reviewed so there will be no person should be there uh, at the petrol pump and uh, which is required to deliver the petrol for the vehicle so uh, these are the basic definitions between 
digitization, digitalization, and digital transformation. Now, how we are going to apply these to our construction field? These to our construction field. So the so we to transformation of uh, this technology towards sustainability. Uh, the main issues are the inter, uh, industrialization, new materials, and digitalization of products and design process and channels. The compounding effects of new production technologies and materials, digitization of the process and products, and across the uh, value chain, uh, construction value chain, have the potential to radically transform the construction industry. Especially on site execution that uses automation technology could become significantly more efficient because we always, construction engineers, look for a more efficient work or more accurate work in order to make my project more successful. So construction has already started to explore the automation in these areas, especially prefabrication, uh, off-site manufacturing, uh, on many fields. So uh, there is a need for the change, the developments impacting the construction sector in the coming decades, uh, especially uh, with the projected growth rates and uh, resources uh, scarcity is there, climate change is there. So the built environment has to subject a lot of uh, disruption and that can be overcome with the help of this station. So various manifestations like uh, of uh, climate changes, the changing precipitation intensities, draft, certainly uh, 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 we have to design, construct and maintain and winter on a which will uh, adopt uh, that climate change. And uh, building accounts for around 39% of global carbon emission uh, that we need to take care in the uh, overall calculation of the uh, carbon footpath in our calculation, which is a significant part of total carbon footprint of the buildings. So that can be that has to be reduced with the help of this digitization. Then uh, increasing global demand for the urban housing, which is uh, favorable for business. Right. This includes uh, energy neutrality, health and safety of the material, indoor climate, circularity, and general suitability in general. So uh, this is the main problem which is faced by a lot of metro, metro cities. Like uh, uh, instead of uh, uh, instead of uh, the hundred people living in an uh, if it is an horizontal uh, development, then there will not be an, uh, there will not be much uh, problem. But if it is a vertical uh, uh, development, then certainly there will be a cluster of uh, people will be increasing, and you have to look for uh, amenities which is required for the people in order for their living. So here, our uh, digital innovations are needed. The, uh, uh, for, for every year, uh, for in, the, in, in years, the construction decision makers uh, have widely agreed that construction has lagged behind the other industries when it comes to digitization. Because we are still certainly for, follows our uh, uh, earlier practices, uh, and uh, we are little uh, far behind the other fields like, uh, uh, like automobile industry, or uh, like uh, information technology, or uh, like uh, other, uh, say, manufacturing tech, manufacturing industry, where they adopted this digital innovation in a wide way. So, uh, so <clears throat> it is uh, 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 it is it is a time for us to uh, certainly uh, adopt this digital innovations in our construction field in such a way that it will uh, make the construction as more efficient. Uh, for example, many construction processes, which includes uh, uh, recordings, time recordings, punching lists, submittals, job reports, schedules, quality control, purchase orders. Certainly, these are uh, documents which are related to the during your uh, scheduling time. Uh, that can be digitized, certainly, which we, which certainly we reduce the uh, amount of paper to be used. So it is uh, not only increasing the efficiency, and also we are doing good for the uh, environment. So uh, uh, why uh, we need uh, this digital innovation, mainly uh, today uh, <clears throat> increased profits, uh, stronger resource management, certainly it will helpful in data-driven customer insights. Uh, data-driven customer insights in the sense, uh, we always, the customer will always see for uh, the performance of the building or the details about the building. So uh, whether uh, these many amenities are there, for example, if a customer wants to buy an apartment, uh, he will look for many parameters, uh, starting from whether it is uh, accessible to the uh, uh, tra transport, whether all the water facilities are there, other amenities are there like gym, uh, then schools or uh, shopping malls or shops or uh, other amenities. He will, he, will, he will always look for data-driven insights. So that also very important. 
and if, that will give a better customer uh, customer experience if the digital innovation is uh, uh, in by bindi construction and uh, uh, it increases the digital culture improve productivity and increase agility so uh, uh, it's not to, uh, if you take consider the today's uh, scenario an increasing amount of contacts have to be taken uh, such as the locality of the duty infrastructure the capacity of the existing constructions then uh, whether it is disturbing the traffic flows or not and also certainly it will create some health or safety related issues to the general public and uh, uh, changing uh, weather patterns certainly that will affect the drainage uh, requirements soil conditions heat stress and uh, uh, pollution standards these are the things uh, we can able to control or we can able to channelize in uh, uh, various in various levels by using this digital innovation Uh, if you see the dimensions of uh, uh, digital transformation so first one is the uh, strategy so strategy uh, strategy is nothing but uh, uh, we have we have to see for existence of uh, some formulated digital strategy so first uh, uh, we have to plan it how we are going to change the things which is happening in a physical way into the electronic type of way then Uh, how to transfer or how to we have to make a strategy for documentation and communication and uh, uh, how uh, we are going to apply the strategy for availability of sufficient resources in such a way that they can use it rationally and uh, uh, exploring and evaluation of uh, new trends of materials for that i need to make a strategy then comes to the organization when the strategy is formed then it comes to the organization and the organization will have a uh, various uh, phases starting from partnership and ecosystem and organizational agility cross functional collaboration and cooperative venturing then it comes to the culture that is uh, uh, freedom to uh, experiment strong commitment for the management and uh, strong digital leaders then finally uh, as a fourth parameter after all these uh, uh, three dimensions the technology comes to picture that uh, that is uh, Uh, uh we are how we are going to exploit the new technology in the construction and uh, uh, uh we should not uh, compromise the uh, old architecture and uh, we have to uh, we have to consider that also and uh, here we will be digitizing the core it system in the construction then it comes to customer then it comes to the people so these are the different dimensions of the uh, digital transformation which involved if you see uh, in construction there are lot of clusters are available so lot of areas are there in in order to make a more digitization so you can see uh, six different colors you can see six, six different colors which i already explained in the last slide starting from strategy organization culture uh, technology and people and customer everything will be uh, digitized in this way so uh, next uh, we have to know what are the different types of digital innovations are there. generally uh, these uh, digital technologies used in the construction sector includes uh, uh, general purpose technologies relating to the management and governance as well as uh, very specific digital building technologies that certainly supports the technical activities relating to design engineering construction and maintenance generally these impacts and levels uh, of adoption vary within the four types of building technologies that is uh, uh, cyber physical technologies versus cyber uh, physical technologies then software based technologies then uh, complementary technologies then platform technologies these are four different types of technologies where uh, people can adopt in the construction so if you take uh, cyber physical technologies uh, such as uh, gis uh, laser scanning drones uh, which are uh, often independently uh, works independently works and uh, rather than interconnected through interface if you take a uh, cyber physical complementary technologies which frequently draw on general purpose technologies to connect the multiple device and recognize their physical environment next is the software based complementary technologies which accounts for uh, comparably low technological complexity and uh, the user will be having uh, ease of uh, working on it and he will be getting them the software based platform technologies can be found in all life cycle phases of buildings and industrial actors has all the potential technology users generally for example bim is a software based uh, platform technology and uh, 
uh, platform technologies have the potential to unlock uh, these uh, enormous benefits for the construction life cycle. <clears throat> so the examples of uh, the cyber physical technologies are drones, autonomous vehicles, laser scanning, uh, then radio tracking devices in operation, on-site drones in the construction, geographic information system, then automated prefabrication, predictive maintenance, on-site robotics in construction, self-assembling blocks, 3D printing, both on-site and off-site, augmented reality and advanced robotics. This will come under cyber physical technologies. And uh, cyber physical platform technologies are a cloud-based platform and a logistic platform. This is a major part of uh, scheduling and uh, distributing the materials during the construction time. Sensor or uh, monitoring building data, then building automation, uh, the optimization of building functions, smart building systems, connect connectivity of buildings to infrastructure, automated building condition analysis, digital twin and micro kits. These are the parts of uh, cyber physical platform technologies. Then. Uh, uh, Software-based complementary technologies are uh, computer-aided design, logistic management software, uh, parametric design, building uh, performance simulation, uh, virtual avatars, extended reality, data visualization, uh, narrow in in artificial intelligence, machine learning, quantum computing, uh, virtual reality in design planning, and mobile money. So this is a very new technologies uh, which, uh, which, uh, which uh, we recently got uh, implementing in construction. And uh, uh, many new innovations started, uh, many new st many studies are started in this area. People who are interested in uh, 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 software-based complementary, the apply uh, applicability of software-based complementary technologies in construction can work out. And uh, if they are looking for uh, a product-based outcome, they can work on it. The next uh, uh, is uh, uh, platform-based uh, uh, technologies, uh, that is uh, digital documentation, enterprise resource planning, uh, BIM, building information modeling, e-business and entry, customer uh, service automation, blockchain project management documentation, IoT, Internet of Things, mobile technology and project quotation, especially uh, if the site is very big, this will be very, very much helpful, but with the help of uh, BIM. So uh, the technology innovation uh, is uh, leveraging technology to make the process of the construction and the site operation more efficient and sustainable. And moreover, the pandemic, which created uh, the need of new ways of construction, uh, certainly that had with the safety of the workers and also to follow the regulations by the local authorities. So uh, many startups and scale-ups are increasingly developed these innovations around the prefabrication, worker safety, construction robotics. So many new technologies are uh, coming in this area in order to maintain the, uh, in order to create the awareness about the digital innovations. We'll see some of the uh, technology innovations in the uh, construction. First one is drones. Uh, uh, drones are nothing but the small flying machines that make uh, construction of buildings uh, much more accessible. Uh, uh, they use the technologies like robots, uh, uh, mission control, telematics, unmanned air vehicles, uh, have taken over uh, uh, ensuring the maximum efficiency while reducing the material waste. Generally, these uh, uh, are drones are helpful in uh, uh, in uh, in uh, <coughs> one second. in transferring the materials from one place to another place and uh, doing surveying and doing aerial surveying, then monitoring the site uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, in high platform. Uh, and uh, uh, these are some of the helpful things uh, and uh, monitoring the things happening in and around the sites, not only inside and also outside the sites, which can be done by these uh, uh, <coughs> drones, which certainly help the construction managers in order to supervise the project without being physically present at the site. And uh, uh, the main, the indicators addressed to buy uh, this uh, 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 drones are uh, the operating cost, accessibility, and solid waste management. 
so uh, in indian market uh, uh, there are uh, different uh, uh, types of uh, drones are available fixed wing high altitude long endurance uh, then ucav unmanned combat aerial vehicle then uh, uh, mali mail that is medium altitude long endurance unmanned aerial vehicle so these are some of the vehicles uh, some of the types uh, which are uh, which are available with the indian market where you can use it for the construction purpose uh, if you see uh, uh, the uh, advantages and the limitations of usage of these drones are uh, the impact of these uh, drones on the construction industry uh, the main advantages are it certainly reduces the process time and analysis time and less risk and constantly lower the cost more precise digital data to allow more accurate readings easy accessibility via cloud based integration more seamless job site programming monitoring and they certainly have a lot of impacts on the construction industry especially enabling the better construction site monitoring uh, when uh, when the when the when the process or the uh, uh, the ongoing things are monitored uh, certainly we will get a, a very good product at the end of the day so that can be done with the help of these uh, drones and calculating stockpile volume and material types of inventory which which will certainly helpful in uh, maintaining the inventory and calculating length with an elevation of the roads and structures which are uh, on with the ongoing work or uh, completing work that can be monitored then annotating the image stand maps for easier communication and for calculating ore burden to plan for efficient removal uh, especially for uh, 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 demolition or new construction the drones are very much helpful so next uh, 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 digital innovation uh, which uh, having impact on this construction is the construction variables construction wearables so construction wearables are uh, nothing but the uh, special clothing uh, especially our gadgets worn during the construction which certainly ensures the safety of the workers the first and foremost advantage of this construction wearable is the safety of the workers and also it will certainly uh, enhance the uh, efficiency of the worker it will then uh, uh, this uh, 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 construction variables includes uh, uh, a smart uh, uh, smart boots smart boots smart uh, smart hats hard hats uh, smart body wear power gloves uh, and uh, uh, other other uh, wearable other wearables are there certainly they are they are uh, capable of uh, detecting and sensing various parameters like uh, temperature uh, uh, or uh, the health condition of the person uh, that is a uh, heartbeat blood uh, pressure and uh, any any harmful substances are there uh, or increase sudden increasing the temperature uh, these are the some of the parameters which can be monitored with the help of these variables so you can see uh, 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 having uh, the variables a smart uh, variable having uh, Uh, temperature sensors, the alarm, automated alarms, chemical sensors, uh, LED indicators for the people who is nearby, pulse uh, pulse sensors, and uh, uh, these are some uh, so are, uh, these are the some of the uh, uh, attachments with these variables. Along with that, uh, you will be having a smart lock, uh, self-retrieving lifelines, uh, which certainly helpful for the people who are working at the heights. Uh, it will give the indication if you go far away from the uh, point of contact. and it will indicate about the uh, hazard then uh, uh, if you if you see lot of variables uh, 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 are there especially uh, for uh, locating system track location of the workers uh, will be uh, greatly done with the help of this uh, uh, gps chip which is attached to the variables then smart communication system that is smart helmets ear muffs face mask which certainly produce a fast effective communication in a loud and low visible environment so Uh, transferring the data or communicating the people in a proper way is very very important on the construction site because of the light because of the low visibility and because of the noise in the in the at the site uh, uh, without uh, the smart communication there is a high chance of uh, miscommunication and it may lead to accidents sometimes so certainly this smart communication system will certainly help the people who are there at the site uh, that will certainly uh, have uh, impact on reducing the hazards next is safer equipments that is a, a smart lock out tag out uh, backing cameras warning devices and uh, other automated safety measures keep, which keeps the worker safe if the worker is safe and he, he can he can work in a uh, in a productive way then smart cooling and heating elements uh, 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 this is the new type of uh, smart uh, wearables 
uh, which responds to the body in external temperature to keep the wearer safe. So if it should not, uh, it should be at the normal temperature that can be maintained with the help of the sensors. Then light emitting garments uh, like uh, safety weights, which uh, can pr provide a high visibility, especially in road projects, this will be helpful. Then uh, uh, smart uh, safety eyewear. Uh, which uh, data can be delivered inside the eyewear in a display in the corner of the lens so the wearer can monitor the changing data in smart safety gloves uh, near field communication chip built into the glove which allows the users to connect the transformation on their phone and tablet in order to scan the data sheet and access the information and smartwatch smart t-shirts earbuds then phone based app alerts that is uh, smart sensors and wearables connected to apps can send the crucial alerts to the managers or from alerts users when they misuse a tool, warnings to the weather, emergency situation of the facility to the uh, uh, to the server in such a way that that will give a warning signal to other people who are there at the sites, which is certainly helpful in uh, accessing the, <coughs> in overcoming all the, these problems. Next is uh, uh, the construction variables uh, generally having environmental protection from the invisible risk, which certainly improves the efficiency through the remote management and having a thermal uh, impact. The main indicator which measures here is the initial cost. That is more uh, here and that is the main indicator for this construction variables. So next is uh, construction robotics, uh, which is a new field uh, for this uh, construction where uh, plastering robots are available then wall building robots are available and demolishing builders are robots are available. I'll show you some picture. The construction robots are a subset of these industrial robots generally used for building and infrastructure construction design. Uh, 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 generally, most of the activities uh, regarding this uh, uh, construction robots are in a research level. But uh, uh, if you take in uh, uh, advanced countries or developed countries like Japan, USA, they have started using this robot in their construction especially for finishing the exterior, steel placement, construction of masonry wall, reinforcement concrete, these uh, robots are uh, used. The main challenge uh, for using these uh, robots in site is due to the limitation of workspace. So they need more workspace for these robots to make the work done. The uh, uh, main uh, uh, indicators addressed with respect to this construction robot testing are solid weight generation will be reduced, and will create a very fast construction which may tend to house per hour. Then uh, these are some of the types of uh, robot robots that is dem demolition robotics which involves uh, which includes a multi-tool demolition robot and a hydro powered uh, demolition robot where hydro powered uh, demolition robot they use water jets as a main uh, demolition tool uh, during demolition the building then uh, uh, eco-friendly demolition robot this is a new type of robot where uh, it will suck the dust generated during the demolition so the uh, environmental pollution will be reduced uh, that's why they gave the name eco-friendly demolition robots then uh, other robots such as uh, 3d printing robots nowadays 3d printing concrete is a, a growing field uh, where uh, they started their research uh, how we can make the construction more more faster for that, we need a 3D printer, and with the help of a 3D printing robot, we can construct a house. So here, as a, it's a small uh, example of a 3D printing robot. Then a brick laying robot. Uh, there are uh, different types of brick laying robots are available. Uh, this, is a, this photograph is an example for a brick laying, uh, brick laying for a wall. So wall brick laying robot. Uh, then uh, uh, this is a. Uh, picture uh, depicts the bricklaying for the roads for the roads and uh, these are some of the notable construction by the robots uh, which they finish the uh, construction in a very fast way i have time no still yes sir yes sir you have time sir yeah, okay. Next uh, technological innovation in construction is big data. Big data. So uh, big data is nothing but uh, 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 collection of data in a very wide manner, uh, especially it relates to the construction data. 
so it collects the data from uh, various sensors, equipments, and meters present in the construction process and that site. Uh, certainly, this big data improves the efficiency and accuracy of the construction project. And it also uh, uh, figure out the probability of risk involved in the construction. And uh, uh, mainly, this big data helps in the class detection technology, increasing the safety of the workers. Increasing the safety of the workers. And uh, next uh, innovation is the artificial intelligence, uh, that is AI. So AI is uh, uh, emulation of the human intelligence, intelligence by robots and machines. And the AI can increase the productivity mainly by handling the repetitive task on its own. Uh, especially, say, wall building, clustering can be uh, achieved by the help of this AI, AI intelligence. When the AI uh, combines with the machine learning, uh, uh, the safety violation and risk factors can be plunged. So, certainly, we are making the site more safer with the help of this AI. So, next, uh, 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 a technology innovation in sector uh, is uh, modular construction. Certainly, this is one of the uh, uh, sustainability aspects, uh, it's not uh, much related to the digital innovations, but we are bringing uh, this modular construction with the help of the new technology in the construction. So generally modular construction is nothing but uh, it refers to the offsite uh, fiber of propagation of modules of structures. Recently we heard uh, that uh, one of the DRDO building in, build, uh, in Bangalore, they built in, uh, uh, in uh, six days. It's a seven floor building built in six days. Uh, that that uh, is made up of this uh, modular uh, uh, construction. Certainly, uh, it helps in tackle in construction delays uh, arising from uh, uh, on-site factors like traffic congestion, then weather, uh, rain, or uh, or uh, the uh, topography of the that is the geography, topography of the place. Certainly, that will help in the construction delays, that, and it certainly reduce the carbon emission. Uh, as number of on-site constructions is lowered, the construction wastage can be significantly reduced. As the off-site, uh, uh, then off-site construction is highly suited for the location that prefer remote work, mainly due to various technical difficulties at the construction sites. Uh, then many of the economic, economic and uh, uh, societal indicators are addressed here. The next main innovation in the uh, 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 construction is building information modeling te technology. Building information modeling technology, BIM technology in short way. So uh, almost all of our uh, civil engineers now across the uh, software or uh, the platform AutoCAD. So that is the starting point of a BIM. That is a 2D BIM, I can say 2D BIM, where it will give the drawings. If I add time, if I add money, if I had the scheduling, and if I add the visualization, then that will term as a building information modeling. So building information modeling in a short beam is a 3D modeling tool, which certainly assists the construction professionals in planning, designing, and changing in the infrastructure. So certain the main help of this building information modeling is class detection and optimize the construction company goals. The class detection is uh, the structural elements uh, at some point, it will be clashing at one, one point. So that can be uh, pointed out at the designing simulation stage itself. And uh, uh, I can reduce, I can detect it, and I can correct it in such a way that during the processing, the processing at the site, my time of uh, recovering will be uh, reduced. So that is the main advantage here. And makes the logistic easy by determining the essential advance with a greater accuracy. Uh, uh, generally, yeah, it, the building information modeling is applied to in all the stages, in all the stages, starting from uh, 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 programming, conceptual design, detailed design, analysis, documentation, fabrication, construction, uh, 3D or 4D or 5D, then logistics, operation and maintenance, and, and uh, then uh, uh, usage of materials, usage of building. Maybe after that, the demolition or uh, maybe renovation. So, in all the stages, visualization is required with the help. Visualization can be done with the help of this building information model. So, the uh, building information modeling having advantages of uh, design alternatives, uh, 
constructability analysis, then uh, uh, quantity takeoff, fabrication drawings, document control, class detection, logistic planning, progress tracking, as well drawing, cost analysis. These are the main delivery rules from the building information model. Then main benefits uh, uh, of and advantages of BIM is uh, the modeling versus 2D drafting. So usually we'll be doing a 2D drafting in uh, maybe in Hans or in uh, in AutoCAD. Here this uh, building modeling improves over uh, 2D drafting by allowing the designers uh, to view the building and its contents from the all the angles. And it will reveal all the problem at the earliest stage itself to allow for the correction without costly chain in orders. Next is the parametric elements. Parametric elements uh, allows for the creation of large versatile sets of building components with a little effort. Next is improved coordination. Uh, with this BIM, uh, which have a detailed information uh, about each corner of the building components uh, with the model element, which certainly have a good coordination between different players involved in the construction process. Next is improved accuracy and efficiency. Uh, it affords the uh, integrators or the people who are using it with the increased accuracy of the quantity takeoff. Right. Then delivery process, uh, delivery process efficiency it will certainly increase the efficiency. It is a design and drawing production requirement should be evolved so that the managers, designers, drafters spend less time in developing designs and more time in providing creative solutions for the clients. So the uh, physical demand for creating of multiple views of three uh, buildings in 2D can be reduced to short time with the BIM solution. Then certainly client satisfaction, you can show your uh, visual verification of design intent and knowledge by sharing through the visual design and construction and being make the clients more happy. Then uh, uh, next one is uh, ongoing technology management. Certainly uh, technology professionals can use this information in the model. Uh, to schedule the routine maintenance or uh, you can plan for a special events or tie to room scheduling applications and also issue uh, trouble, uh, trouble reports to the technology service person which will certainly help in the process and one more thing is there that is facility management uh, uh, so BIM can uh, link data from uh, manufacturers construction data and communication into one fully integrated and robust facility dashboard which will certainly helpful in maintaining the process in a right way. So next technology innovation in construction is IoT. So Internet of Things. Uh, so IoT uh, is what happens when the mechanical device meets the software and technologies. So IAT, uh, IoT is primarily used in sensors, construction variables, and maintenance systems. And But they are also present in electrical and mechanical systems used to control the monitoring data. Mainly, it's certainly helpful in increasing the efficiency and also safety of the workers. And uh, uh, IoT plays a major role in implementing the results of BIM and helps with the waste management issues. So in various stages, it will be helpful. Nowadays, uh, these are the various sectors uh, with connected to the IoT and their global products. So uh, the usage of this IoT in construction industries keep on increasing. And the, the, the graph will uh, show that one. So we have uh, certain challenges in uh, uh, in making our uh, environment more uh, digital. That is, uh, digital illiteracy. Uh, people may doesn't have the knowledge of uh, uh, the digital technologies. Then lack of material required for the making the digital devices. Then lack of uh, internet connectivity. Unavailability of skilled laborers to repair the equipment because everything is new for us and the equipments are new and where we are not expertise in the equipment in order to repair the equipment. Then lack of uh, continuous power supply, 24 plus one power supply, lack of technology to recycle the digital equipment. So this will going to be a big problem if you adopt the digitalization in the construction where the technology is, uh, is not there to recycle the digital equipment. And the most of foremost thing is high initial cost of purchase of digital equipment. So people always think about the yearly cost or high initial cost of purchase these digital equipment in their construction site. So uh, there is one more uh, uh, adoptability is there that is a construction value chain. Uh, 
certainly this digital uh, technology is applied in the constructive value chain, which will adopt the smart building technologies uh, to become more smarter and sustainable cities and increasing powerful influence on the people quality of life. Combining the digital innovations and the technologies across the, all the sectors to create an environmentally sustainable and economically viable and livable city. So, so uh, it, it, it is a combination of all the uh, various uh, technologies along with the uh, various uh, applications uh, in the construction, which will give a better living environment. Then in construction sectors, uh, even though we have challenges, uh, we have high benefits about this uh, uh, digitization, but, but we have certain challenges or drawbacks. So uh, construction sector being globally global, but seal and fragmented. So uh, it is not uh, connected. All the uh, construction uh, makers are not connected properly. They are fragmented. Then cultural uh, characteristics, uh, attitudinal barriers, industrial barriers, institutional barriers. Then uh, operating with the tight margins. We always work along with the tight margins. Then lagging productivity and efficiency, limitation in innovation capacity. These are some of the uh, factors uh, uh, which will uh, are the challenges in the construction sector for making digitalization. So if you take uh, the role of digital technologies or assets uh, in the built environment, which will make more sustainability. For example, if you take BIM, uh, it has, uh, that is, uh, uh, it fosters more transparent process at the design phase itself. The, the, when the design data is added to the sh uh, shared model, uh, the people who are involved in the project can access a real-time summary of what products and materials are being processed. So how they will be installed and the performance expectation of the project can be also can be completed, also can be visualized using the project. That is greater transparency during the design phase, greater efficiency of the design and trans uh, trans construction phase, and also greater control during the operation phase. Then artificial intelligence or machine learning uh, uh, by incorporating AI into this built and design practices is uh, uh, beneficial of uh, a number of reasons. That is uh, energy efficiency. Uh, uh, the comfort is a high priority for the humans, right? Uh, our comfort depends on the temperature, the amount of light we are exposed to, and even which electronics are accessible. The AI monitors uh, these factors through a system called Intelligent Energy Management System, IEMS, uh, that will analyze the amount of energy being used in the building not only during the construction state, even after construction. And it optimizes the resources for the building to be more responsible with the energy usage. So energy efficiency. Then better design. The, the, it's, uh, the AA provides the ability to design a building that will specifically made of made for the client relative to the sustainability goals. Uh, and then IoT, there is a reduction of mistakes. So there is a big opportunity for IoT technologies to enable the sustainable construction in modular construction. More and more contracts are relying on prefabricated building materials assembled at the off-sites. So we can reduce the uh, uh, flow of, uh, track the flow of materials and on the waste on-site, which also reduces the risk of uh, compliant materials going build the unnoticed. Then uh, VR or AR technologies, uh, uh, the ability to see uh, a project site without traveling into it. Just think of, uh, you will be seeing your project technologies you will be seeing the progress of your technology without visiting there. Uh, uh, it will give the ability to see uh, your project site without traveling to, and it is easy for the teams to collaborate in real time within a shared environment where they can literally point out the data and issues. They can discuss, they can ask questions and immediately make decisions about the changes with this VR area technologies. For example, a non-profit organization uh, 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 build and change, uh, build change construct, constructs building all over the world, including in developing countries and disaster prone areas. They use this VR to help on site stakeholders to understand the project needs during the planning phase. And uh, they also use it to ensure the remote teams uh, certainly can view the progress and provide the input throughout the construction phase. So, uh, uh, to make uh, uh, smart decisions here, we are, we are making smart decisions and improve the contractor's ability to set meet the expectations. Final, so uh, sustainable practices are uh, no longer just nice to have a nice for the construction sector. Uh, so uh, if you make the digitalization, uh, uh, more digitalization in construction, 
with the, with the uh, sustainable practices, with the uh, good sustainable practices, making the built environment more livable. Finally, uh, uh, the implementation of that technology, however, uncovers precisely the systematic issues that have held back the sector's productivity, transparency, and sustainability performance for the decades. And however, the final thought is the meaningful digital transformation cannot be successfully realized without strong commitment to such change. So uh, I thank uh, uh, the Department of Civil Engineering, Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering uh, for uh, providing me this opportunity to share my thoughts about the uh, uh, seminar uh, to the audience. And I also thank uh, the support and help provided by my MTech scholars of uh, Construction and Technology Management Division, my college, are greatly acknowledged here. Uh, these are some of the selected references. Uh, you can uh, uh, you can refer it for uh, for the students. Any any doubts you can ask now. Thank you, sir. Participants, if you have any doubt, you can uh, unmute your mic and ask, or you can post your questions in the chat box. I hope I am on time. I finished on time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <clears throat> so, so, I have a I one question like. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. What is the role of promoting this digitalization in construction industry? I mean, role of government in promoting this uh, digitalization? See, uh, can you suggest any measures? Or, no, yeah. no. Generally, uh, the main intention of uh, providing this digital technology in construction is uh, we can save lot the people who are working there. We can increase the efficiency of the work. We can increase the quality of the work. So, uh, uh, we have a lot of advantages over the disadvantages. Okay, this can uh, brought to the government and they can have uh, uh, some policies from uh, rules, from laws in such a way that people can adopt it. Mm. For example, before uh, 2020 March, we never wear mask. Only when the government says you have to wear mask, otherwise we will put a uh, fine on that and everybody started wearing the mask. So if, uh, if, if the rule is implemented on the construction industry for the goodness of the people who are working there, certainly government have a major role in that. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. And uh, I think participants uh, doesn't have anything to ask. I hope everyone thank understood. You, thank you. Yeah. So thank you so much for your time and uh, sharing your information, experience, knowledge with us. Thank you, sir. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank and uh, Dr. Kumula, madam, is uh, busy with the meeting, sir. Uh, no problem. No problem. No yes, sir. Problem. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, participants, uh, kindly fill the feedback form which is posted in the chat box. Participants, for your kind attention, kindly fill the feedback form which is posted in the chat box.